So I got a question on the last uh, tutorial or time lapse of how to be able to use do a fillet and uh, on this form, and it's a bit of a trick question. You can't just take um, this final form and just do a fillet on everything, or even let's say on this one. because it's there's not a function where you could just or a uh, component where you could just plug this in and then get you know every um, get everything to become a fillet but one of the things that I was able to figure out was if you hide everything um, there is this component where we took the iso trimmed surface we took the corners and we created a polyline that connects uh, those points so it creates basically a polygon here that connects the, the corners so if I hide this and go ahead and look at that uh, polyline that is created around each cell if I bake it I'll give you an idea it'll give you an idea of see so that's a rectangle uh, I'm gonna come back here and delete that and what I'm going to do is a fillet. So um, I think this one's it. Yeah. It's, so it's called a regular fillet, and you can bring in that polyline. We can do a fillet of five. And then, as you can see, we can uh, now all of those polylines have been filleted. And instead of extruding that to a point, instead of extruding the original ones to a point we could extrude those to a point so that will give us a different result but it's still a bit you know it still kinda comes to a point here so that's one of the things that'll be um, kind of tricky to get rid of but if this is what you were looking for that's that's one of the things um, that you can do and now I can change here the amplitude of how much we want to extrude it and you'll see that it'll update but it does still come out to a point so that's one of the things that you could do uh, to create kind of that round edge but when you do round off the edges here you'll notice um, that there will be kind of some gaps created and so that was a bit big so let's go to 10 and so there we have kinda what you were asking for let's do let's go here to a bigger number 15 and let's go here to a 12 So there we have kind of some a little bit more of a pointy and then if we on preview that and take a look at what it looks like when it's a close B rep it creates all of these little points um, instead of there's other things we can do if you want to control the fillet so we can move this geometry in which direction we'll do an amplitude and since we're using a uh, evaluate surface this gives us a frame in a normal so we can either we can plug in that frame and give us an amplitude of 12 put here and then plug that in there and then flatten it or graft it that's what it is. So it, when you graft it, it's going to offset in. So we want it to go out. Let's go negative here. And so as you can see, it offsets that out. Let's go a little bit more. And so what we want to do is this frame that this basically these polylines, we also want to do a fillet. So we want to drag that over and copy it bring in that geometry 
and hide this so now we have two we, we can increase or decrease the fillet on this one also and so since we have these two we can loft together that initial curve from this and this other curve and so now we have a bit of a rounded edge here and yeah I feel like that's a cool if we cap it this will give us some interesting geometry I guess one of the things we could do is scale so we're gonna scale this this fillet but not there, the center is going to be in the center of all of these frames. And we're going to graft it. So, see how it takes that. Let me show you. So, it'll take all of these forms and it's going to just scale them um, and now we can do that same loft you know we can unplug this and bring this in and it'll give us a more of a filleted form if that's what you're looking for you could also you know make it into a non fillet inside which also creates a you know an interesting interesting form so that's just uh, some of the ways in which you can take an outside geometry made of rectangles you can fill it in and you can loft together and you could also you know scale it down and do offsets and, and loft it together too to create some other interesting forms so I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions. I will um, make sure to have the links to download the script and to see the other videos that you know brought us to this point. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you for watching.